based on the directive from the management that an electronic learning platform is set up for students to receive lectures from their respective lecturers from home. The Center for Information and Communication Technology, CICT, is presenting this video to guide in the use of the application, Google Classroom. Hello, guys. Um, in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make use of Google Classroom. So the first thing you have to do is um, you can either download a mobile app from Play Store or Google Classroom, or you can use your browser. So if you are using your browser like I'm going to be doing, you just have to go to your URL bar and type Google Classroom. So once you, Google is going to give you some suggested lists of Google Classroom and blah, blah, blah. You just have to click the first one, which is class.google.com classroom.google.com sorry and what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to um, try and log in because you you need um, your gmail to be able to log in to the google classroom platform so i'm going to log in right now So this is the Google Classroom platform. Now let's assume that your, your lecturer is going to be sharing you a code which you are going to use to join classes on the platform. So I already have a code that from a lecturer and which I'm going to be using. So you, all you just have to do is once your lecturer send you the code, you come to this plus icon here at the top right corner and you click on join class so you are going to enter your code here which i already have and you click on join so your lecturer has the um, enablement to post questions quiz assignments and materials as you can see on the dashboard right here, you have um, a lecturer has posted a, um, an a material, sorry, which says how to create your first program. So once you click on that material, it's going to show you the attachments your lecturer has made to that material page. And you can decide to download or read the documents online. So let's go back. We have another post there which says your lecturer posted a new assignment. Write a program to display even numbers. So what you can just do is after reading the instruction, the instruction will be here. After reading the instruction, you just have to go ahead and you check the criteria which is here. It's saying make sure you use the concept of programming which attracts two points. So once you are sure that you have done the assignments, maybe you are required, the instruction says you should upload a Word document or a PDF document after you are done with the assignment, you just come here and click on Add or Create. So you click on File to upload the assignments in which you have done, and you select the file. So I'm going to select the file on my system. And I'm going to upload. So once you are done uploading and you are sure that what you have done is correct, which is going to attract Mac and which you are going to be seeing on the platform, you click on turning. And it's going to say turn in your work, blah blah blah. You click on turn in. See blah blah blah. Turn in. So once you are sure you have submitted the assignment, then you can go back to your own page. Now on the dashboard, on your dashboard, you can you also see um, 
there's a question that was posted who is the father of computer which you can also post your answer Charles and you can turn it now you can check your classmates answer here if your lecturer has enabled that feature only and you can go back to classes now if you have several classes that has been um, given to you by your lecturers you are going to see them listed here in this kind of box format so you just click on the class you do whatever you are instructed to do and you submit now i've done some modification from the lecturer side and upgraded whatever i submitted some time ago now if you want to see what your grade the grade you you have been assigned by your lecturer you can just come to um, your classwork and you can see it's saying this has been graded and if you click on this again it will tell you um, this is just the material so it cannot be graded and if you come to this place again it will tell you turned in so let's try and view assignments um, this has not been graded yet because you're supposed to see 2 over 10 here so this are not, has not been graded yet but this has been graded let's see what the grade is so it's saying that you got 2 over 2 now that is how to check your score you can decide to add a comment to whatever you have submitted you always see your grade somewhere around this corner for every activity you carry out in a classwork or um, assignments or quiz thanks